Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm just gonna pop on some lip balm. This is the Toradin Solid In Lip Essence. And I just did my skincare and I thought that today I would do a look with all of the K-Beauty, mostly K-Beauty products that I have. So I thought I would just go and do like um, like an almost full face of Korean beauty products because I have a lot of them now. I just thought it would be fun to like try everything on camera and tell you my thoughts. I'm gonna put on some sunscreen, even though I'm probably not gonna go out after this, but this is the Timish Artless Glow Tinted Sunscreen, and this is an SPF 50. I was actually sent this by Silvana last year, so I wanna kind of use it so that I think I've had it open for almost a year. There's not much left in it, but I know like after a year, so you can kind of see the tint. Um, It's a very sheer tint, but usually these kind of products don't do very well on my skin tone. They're generally always too dark. So I'm gonna just put this on, uh, even though I'm not gonna go out, but I am beside a window, so it's probably a good idea to put some cream on. I thought I would do an actual application video today. Chat through the last few weeks or the last month and kind of just talk about what's been going on. Kind of very, very relaxed, very chilled out. Talk about my holiday, and just what I've been up to, if that interests anyone. But I will also be doing a makeup look, so if you're not interested in me talking about what I've been doing, you might want to watch the makeup application. Yeah, I really like that tinted sunscreen, considering that they don't usually work on me. That one actually does, the colour is fine. But that being said, I am very pale, so I don't know how it would work on other people. But it is quite sheer triple function UV protection brightening and anti-wrinkle um, yeah that's there's not a lot left in that so I'm just trying to finish it up because I've had it open for 10 or 11 months I'm not sure I want to use it up you know the only reason I haven't is because I, I I normally use like a regular sunscreen for foundation I'm going to use the Misha magic cushion moist up and this is the shade 21 so this is it and I have used this in a previous video but I kind of applied too much so I thought I would try it again and maybe try and not apply as much and make it work better uh, for my skin tone because I just applied far too much and it, it's normally a lot better than that so I essentially just put the sponge in and get it and you really don't need a lot of this like a little bit goes a long way so I'm just going to really kind of spread it out. A very thin layer. My skin is actually looking quite okay. I do have this spot. I'm not gonna lie, I did uh, pick it. So, I mean, it's my own fault. I tried to help it out with a pimple patch and that definitely did help to bring down like the swelling. I feel like every time I, I record a video, I have a spot in this area. Like that one, you can still see like a bit of the redness from that. Just seems like my skin takes such a long time to recover from a breakout. Probably because I'm so pale. And probably because also like I'm picking at my skin. I try not to. Pimple patches are the best thing that I ever did for my skin because as soon as I get a spot, I will usually put one on and that will stop me from touching it and picking at my skin. But I didn't do that this time. As you can see, that looks better than the last time I used it. I'm just doing a really, really light layer because I don't want to cover up my skin since it is actually looking all right at the moment. I really love that. The Misha uh, Cushion Foundation and the only really negative thing I can say about it is that the shade range is atrocious. So that's why I might, the next time I'm making a order on Style of Anna or Yes Style, I think I'm going to order the Tears Here Foundation, like the small version, just to see how that works because they obviously have a lot more shades and I just think it would be nice to have an option to review for people if they do want to try that. There's literally only a couple of skin tones that would be able to use that foundation because it's so pale and even at that I mean that I think that's a lighter shade and I think I could do with a lighter shade myself and um, I mean I can make that one work but yeah the shades are just not great I mean that's the same with all cushion foundations 
that doesn't make it right and I think that you know I'm seeing like obviously Tutor have done it and then Unleashia as well if you know that brand they've extended their shade range so it's really good to see that the kind of social media pressure is making these brands actually listen to customers and say well I want to try it as well and I guess the popularity of K-beauty and and that whole thing you know and people having more accessibility to the products means that more people more skin tones want to try it and if you don't have your product available in someone's shade they can't try it so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get on my soapbox I think everyone can kind of acknowledge that next I'm gonna use the product that I've shown a few times before as well and this is the same cover perfection triple pot concealer this is again a Korean brand and I love this stuff I it's not something that I ever would have bought myself that is the peach shade on my finger and I'm going to use that just to I guess color correct my under eyes because they are purple and there is not a lot I can do to help that I just have like in here this kind of blue and then under my eye is quite purple like just here so that's the reason that I use a color corrector I feel like if I don't my concealer can look a little bit grey. This is obviously not something that everyone is going to have to do or like going to want to do but it's just something that I like to do because of that discoloration there and it just helps to kind of brighten my eyes and may just make it a little bit more of a level playing field for the concealer that I'll apply on top of that. I'm going to do some more colour correcting. So I'm going to use a little bit of the green and I'm going to put that on any blemishes or redness like pinpoint kind of concealing so it's gonna go on that little spot that i have on my chin it just evens my skin tone so that if i'm putting a concealer over over it it's not going to look gray which is what it sometimes does if i apply concealer over like a red mark and then I'm going to use a little bit of the concealer to go on top of that. I mostly use that triple pot concealer for colour correcting and just evening out my skin tone so that it's kind of an even playing field. There is a, a lighter version of this which I'm kind of thinking maybe I should try but this does work really well on me so I don't know they also have a couple of other shades in this i think they've maybe like five or six shades in this but it's just such a good product if it hadn't been sent to me i i don't think i ever would have tried it because it's just not something that i would have thought would have worked for me and even when i received it I, I just genuinely didn't think it would actually work on my skin tone but it does and as you can see like the colors in that are really subdued they're not very bright so it just happens to work very well on my pale skin. Next, I'm going to do the Colorgram Reforming Contour Stick. And this is in the shade 02. You can kind of see where my cheek kind of, there is a shadow there. So I am just going to reinforce that shadow and blend upwards. You don't have to do this, but I just find if I am applying base makeup all over my skin, having, adding in back in the shadow, just helps to kind of give my face some dimension. This is a KJH brand number one brush and I really like the size of it for doing this and I'm just going to kind of really gently buff it upwards and I'm going to try and really concentrate it in this area because I have quite a long face. I just find that this kind of, I don't know, it just helps to balance me out a little bit. I'm going to do just a little bit of colour across my forehead and maybe my nose and cheeks with the Makeup by Mario. I am going to hold this back because it's so gross, but as you can see, it's well loved. It's the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer and this is the shade Light All Over Warming Complexion Tint. So it is essentially a bronzing, warming type product. So it will add warmth to your skin, but it's very sheer, which I really like. I don't know whether to, to repurchase this or to get the liquid version. So if anyone is watching and they know the difference between them, please do let me know what you think because I don't know which one to get. But as you can see, it just gives a little bit of warmth 
to your complexion and again just brings back some dimension i just want to keep this very sheer and the makeup by mario is the perfect product to do that so i just kind of tend to just apply it where you would apply a bronzer i don't have any brow products from k beauty but so i'm going to just use this maybelline express brow satin duo and the Kosas Air Brow in medium brown. They're both in medium brown. Um, I'm not mad about this. It's the nib on is a little bit too thick for for me. I prefer something a little bit thinner that I can kind of, you know, really get in there and it's not as noticeable. So I'm just using this because I was sent to only have it. But they they do have a thinner pencil version of this, which I prefer. And I like the NYX micro brow as well. I'm going to just do my eyebrows and then come back and do my eyes and stuff. My eyebrows are done. They're probably a little bit darker than I would like. But again, that's the brow pencil. It's just a little bit thicker. So it's not my preference. I prefer something with a thinner nib. that I have a little bit more control over. So I'm just going to apply some primer because I always do. Because I have oily eyelids. And I did say at the beginning of this video that I was going to talk about my holiday and what's been going on. I haven't even started doing that yet. <laughs> Yes, because I've been too busy talking about the makeup, which is not a bad complaint to have. But maybe once I get into the eye look, I will kind of just chat a little bit about that. I wasn't sure what to do for this because I do have a, a good few palettes. I have this uh, ZC, which is my friend got me when she was in Japan. This is a one of their little kind of warm toned palettes, but it's so cute. My daughter loves this. She tries to grab it every chance she gets and the amount of times she has just opened this and rubbed red eyeshadow all over her face. I also have the Unleashia Glitterpedia eye palette. This is called All of Lavender Fog and it is again really nice shades, very kind of me shades. I've used this so much. That was another thing that Style Vanna sent to me but I've used it loads. They're just very easy and I appreciate that. I also have this Florisys. Uh, Florisys is a Chinese brand and that is one of their palettes that I use. I, I filmed a video using that palette and it's gorgeous. It's just such a, like the embossing is so nice and even like the front of it is just gorgeous. Um, but I think what I will do is use this. This is something I bought recently. And if you know me at all, you know that I am fairly, and I, I mean, I don't like to say I'm obsessed with something, but I'm fairly obsessed with the, I guess, cartoon characters, comic of Moomin. And if you don't know it, you probably recognise these two, but it is a, it's a, was originally like a comic book that originated in Finland. And they made like a cartoon of it. I mean, they had like a puppet TV show of it maybe like the early 80s and then they did a cartoon of it that was like a um, Japanese animation and then it was like dubbed in with like English and American act actors and I loved that when I was a kid and I still love it and my daughter now loves it as well so when I saw that this brand this is a brand I, I actually tried to find out the pronunciation of this brand I don't know how to say their name but it's BBIA is like the brand so it's a capital BBIA so I'm just going to call it that because I can't find how to pronounce it so it's again it's a Korean brand BBIA and they did a collaboration a couple of months ago and then I saw I wasn't going to buy it okay but then I saw that they had 25% off and I was like mm, I, can't, I, I just feel like I like that that would just make me so happy and you know there's not a lot of makeup that that has interested me at the moment so I was just kind of like I really want to buy this because I know that using this is just going to put a smile on my face and it's so cute and it's also a brand that I've wanted to try so I kind of was I tried to justify it to myself but I just basically had a palette and a mascara and then three four lip oils so I got one of the lip oils and then the mascara and the palette but this is the palette so very me colorful they're all kind of varying levels of sparkle and opacity as well. So like the, I would say the green, I used that during the week. The green and the blue are probably the most opaque. And then obviously they get more sheer as you go down. 
it's so cute like the packaging and it's really it's like really quite quite sturdy like it's like a thick plastic i'll show you the other products that i'll use as well i'm gonna use the mascara it's one of their like kind of trending products it's called the never die i think it's called the never die mascara and that has stinky on the front and stinky is my daughter's favorite she has a stinky teddy that my aunt sent her over from florida and she sleeps with that thing every single night it's the cutest thing ever so she loves stinky so i i, I feel like i had to i had no business buying more makeup but look i'm gonna say it was my birthday present to myself you know my birthday was a couple of months ago um yeah so i'm gonna try this i might will i do purple i feel like i really want to do purple but these two purples are quite sheer but maybe that's okay i might use some of the Unleashia palette as a base and then use the Moomin one on top. Um, I feel like these are products that like no one watching this is going to be interested in but maybe it will be nice to see a brands and products that you don't normally see so yeah let's do it. I'm going to start with the soft lavender shade which is this one. I would say it's more like a pink than lavender but i guess it is it's like a cool toned pale pink so i'm just going to kind of go up like across my brow bone with that i do this one first and then this one and kind of mix them together yeah it, at the end of september the last week of september oh, i mentioned this already in a video but we went to france on a holiday with my mom and dad and my sister and brother-in-law and my nibbling it was our first time going on a family holiday with Maya. We went to Disneyland in February of 2020. That was the last time that I was on a plane. I, I mentioned this in the video where I talked about this holiday, but I, I was so nervous. You know, I'm a nervous flyer anyway, but I suppose it being my first time on a plane in years and then bringing my daughter as well and traveling with a toddler for the first time out of the country I was very very nervous so I just made sure that like I had as much in my control as possible so I really like wrote lists for our suitcases and had everything packed and ready to go and was kind of like was very thorough about everything because that makes me feel more control and you know when you're going to an airport you kind of don't really know <laughs> what might happen because you could get delayed or whatever so I really just wanted to make sure that I had as much in my control as possible. I'm going to use this purple here. Um, I'm going to try it with a brush and then I might, I probably will use my finger because I think that that's going to give the best payoff that I want. I didn't feel as nervous as I normally do, which was really weird because I thought I would just be like, you know, on edge the whole time, but I actually wasn't. Um, and you know, I guess if you're if you're listening to this or watching this and you have never experienced this or you love going to the airport or you travel a lot, it's probably it probably it's a strange thing to hear that somebody might feel that way, but it's I suppose like like everything in life, there's there's always gonna be somebody with a fear of something or a you know, that makes them nervous. So go a little bit more into this and then I'm gonna spray it with a setting spray to see if that helps it a little bit more it's nice it's quite sheer but nice so yeah the the airport was actually lovely i my sister had given me a birthday present of some money i was under strict instructions to use it at the airport because she knew that like that would be a nice thing for me to do so we went and tried on a bunch of perfumes and i bought a very i guess popular and basic perfume which is Jo Malone Blackberry and Bay but I love it because I it reminds me of a holiday that we went on years ago because I bought it in the airport before that holiday. I think I'm going to use a little bit of this. That's the eyeshadow. A little bit of brown eyeliner just on the outer corners of my eye. And I'm going to use Lisa Eldridge Ground Coffee because this is just such a nice 
and so so like just a very small amount and then i'm going to go over this with a brown liquid liner from the brand cleo which is waterproof and it's actually been a product i've loved using since i bought it if you are somebody who likes prepares like brown liner brown, brown mascara you might really like it again i just wanted a tiny little bit of definition on the outer corner and this is the refer 23 brush that i'm using because it's just such a nice tiny brush brilliant for blending out liner yeah so we flew into perpignan which is in the south west of france near to spanish border so i try to do liner with my eye open or blend it out with my eye open just to see where it's going to sit when my eyes are relaxed so i tend to go a bit further down and just embrace my kind of slightly downturned hooded eyes because why not just i think it's better to go with what you have instead of going against it sometimes just it tends to work better i'm just going to put a little bit more of that purple over that brown we were staying in a place called le serignan plage so it's beside the beach and they have like lots of different ways that you can stay there so they have cabins this is the victoria beckham instant brightening waterline pencil they have cabins and then they have like mobile homes and you can also like put up a tent or whatever and it's beside the beach but there's also like it's kind of quite a wooded area i'm going to use the cleo superproof brush liner and this is a brown waterproof liner and i'm just again gonna just do the outer corner because i don't want it to be too much maybe i'll do a thin line across will i maybe i will anyway yeah so we were staying in a cabin it's not somewhere i would have chosen to go if i didn't have a kid because it's very much like aimed at kids and like trying to keep kids occupied so they have like there's a beach near we were like literally 30 seconds walk from the beach but they also have pools and like an indoor pool for like uh, toddlers and they also have an outdoor pool some like water slides and then like a toddler outdoor kind of water area as well that's a bit more than i wanted but look i'm just gonna go with it eh. I just fixed that line a little bit. I just kind of brought it downwards a bit more. Um, and I did the other eye. So I just did like a thin line across and tried to fill in the gaps between my eyelashes so that my eye my lash line looks a little bit more full. And I'm gonna just do my wool lash curler, which is made in Japan. So it kind of fits, it's a the wrapper one. And yeah, it's made in Japan and it's so good. So yeah, we were staying in cabins, which were really nice. And you could cook if you wanted, but they also have a couple of restaurants and then some like takeaway food places as well. And like a supermarket and stuff. So it was, it was good for that, for in that way that you could cook or eat at the restaurant or get takeaway or whatever. So we kind of did like a mixture of everything. Anyway, I'm going to use this. This is the, the BBIA Never Die Mascara with Stinky from Moom in there on the front. And this is a waterproof mascara in black. Really thin brush. It's kind of slightly rounded and tapered. And then it has like fibres as well. So it is a very, very long wearing. Like if you want a waterproof mascara, this is not going to budge. Yeah, we did a mixture of everything. To be honest, if I was to go again, I would go probably a week earlier because the weather, it was, the weather, it was okay. For the first, like, I think six days, it was, it was good. We did have, like, a thunderstorm with, like, a lot of rain on the second day. The last couple of days were quite, not they weren't, they weren't cold. Like, they were probably, they were, like, 20, 21 degrees. Just for, like, using the pool and for the kids and stuff, if it was a little bit warmer, it would have been better, but... The first like five or six days were were perfect it was just quite windy so we didn't end up we thought we would be going to the beach every day but we actually only went i think one afternoon we went to the pool instead 
and I went down Waterside for the first time in my life, which at my age, like it's ridiculous that this is the first time that I went down Waterside, but that is life. That mascara, like look at that. So good. I would say it's quite dry and I don't know, like it's it I find it difficult to get a second coat. Like that's kind of like set now. So if I was to go over that, I don't think it would really do well. But a, a one coat of that is, is fine. I'm just going to do a little bit on the lower lashes. Um, this is actually an ideal brush size for lower lashes. And it's a great formula for lower lashes because it doesn't smudge everywhere like most mascaras do when I put them on my lower lashes. I just always have to put mascara on my lower lashes because I feel like my eyes just disappear if I don't. I think it does help a lot. I'm just going to take off a little bit on the ends so they're not too long. But I mean, that is such such a good mascara. Like if you want a waterproof mascara, the K Beauty ones are just excellent. Like that's amazing. Not to be like, oh my God, like fake. Wow, but like it is just really good. Did my other eye off camera so that I wasn't dragging out this video because I already feel like it's like, so so long. And mascara just like makes your makeup look like it really just does. A pain in the hole to get off. I'm just gonna say like you really need like a heavy duty bi phase make eye makeup remover to get that off, or like a really good oil based cleanser to get that off because it's so budge proof. But for some people that's what they want, and sometimes that is what I want, especially when it's really windy like today. Because I have such watery eyelashes and or I have, I have such watery eyes and if I go out on a day like today for a walk my mascara just goes everywhere because my eyes are watering so much but anyway this is the Lily by Red Smiley A I, I don't know how to say this word e Egeosol I think is how you say it Egeosol so it's a, a tiny nibbed little stick that you can make a like shadow like baby fat like baby fat eye so you essentially kind of like you know kind of smile a little bit and then put it here and then it makes it look like uh, then the other side is like a concealer i guess i'll just put that on to show you what it does it's very subtle but i do think it makes a difference in kind of just shaping your eye area that, and then you put the concealer on so that kind of brings that area forward and then the other side brings this area backwards so that it looks like you have this kind of like cute little like baby fat eyes <laughs> it's supposed to do something and i'm not exactly sure what it is but i might just add a tiny bit of this I find it makes a difference and then sometimes I see people do some like glitter on the low oh, I'm gonna put some glitter on I bought a couple of these actually this is the Roman universal the universal liquid glitter I will put the shade in the description box because I don't know what it is and then this is the milk touch fairy jewel eye glitter and again, I will put the shade in the description box because I don't know what the shade is, but it's kind of like this iridescent, you know, like kind of gold, pinky thing. And I, essentially you're supposed to put it, well, you can put it anywhere, but you're kind of supposed to put it like under your, like above where you've put that shadow. Yeah, why not? Bit, bit of fun. <laughs> okay, so I feel like I've got a little bit of... Uh, a little bit uh, weird today. So it's because I'm talking to myself in a room. You know? See? Kind of like brings your attention to that part of your eye. I think it's cute. And it's a nice way to wear glitter if you like maybe have like hooded eyes or you don't, you, you know, you get transfer and stuff. It's a nice way to wear glitter it's kind of cute definitely need to put concealer on because i feel like i look a little bit um very much tired i'm going to just use the coastal one because i don't have a liquid concealer 
the K-Beauty liquid concealer, although the one from the same is supposed to be very good. I'm gonna do a little bit of setting spray on my sponge and do my concealer. So yeah, we had a great time. We got fresh pastries every morning at the bakery and coffee and we sat out in the sun. They have a little square where they do like, they have like a whole bunch of tables and chairs and a stage where they have like performances every night. They had a, a like a U2 tribute band that were actually really good. But yeah, it, it was it was funny, like regardless of whether it was good or not, it was just kind of funny and it was like something to do in the evening, even though it was like it started at half eight and like my usually goes to bed at seven or half seven. So like we kind of kept her up um a few nights to do that because we were kind of like, oh, we're on holiday, so it's grand. And she actually did really well. She was like very agreeable and had fun and like was kind of just she'd never experienced anything like that before so i think she just like really enjoyed it they had a what is it called i want i want to say amusement because that's what we would have called it when we were kids not a place with like pinball machines and games and stuff so they had bikes outside every cabin and you could also like rent bikes rent like other bikes and stuff is that okay i think that's all right uh, the restaurant was really nice we ate, ate there twice and then we got like takeaway from the like they have like a pizza place and we got takeaway from there a few times and then we cooked a few times as well like for our lunch most days we just got like baguettes and like had them one seems to have disappeared so i'm just i opened my uh curtain a little bit and i'm gonna just come a little bit closer to the window so you can kind of see the makeup a bit better but that is like the eyes it actually looks so much better in this light next i'm going to do some blush and i have a lot of blushes. I have currently 10, 10 K-Beauty brushes. I've been trying to find this like dream shade that I have in my head and I just can't seem to find it in like a formula that I want. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna layer some blushes because I feel like that could be the thing to do. So I'm gonna start with this one, which is by the brand Her, or I assume it's pronounced Her. And this is their Moist Ampule Blusher in the shade Lavender Flush. This is a very sheer, like, if you were to compare it to something, it's like the opposite of the Rare Beauty formula, which is like, has so much pigment in it. So I'm gonna start with like a little bit and I think I'm just gonna tap it onto my cheeks. And then I think I'm gonna layer something over, but it's a very sheer kind of lavender, but like really nice. So I might just do this in like a wider space and then like I think if you had if you had a skin tone that was like any deeper than mine I just don't think that this would show up at all. Maybe the other shades would be better but I don't know. I really like the formula. It's like a serum-y kind of a gel, liquid gel formula but it's really really nice if you have dry skin especially. It's very serum-y like really nice formula i think i would just like it like a tiny bit more pigment because i just feel like it would work on more skin tones then like i'm not going to get much more than that out of it because it's kind of hard to build up because it's so sheer so i think i'm going to do something on top of that i might do this one this is the holica holica jelly dough blusher and this has a little um powder puff and you you kind of like dip it into the thing which is quite cute so i'm gonna use that i think on top like just kind of here so it's kind of like a bit of a gradient blush kind of um like if you look at the it's quite it's kind of sticky nearly this is gonna be a bit much i might put it on the back of my hand first but this is like that's it on the back of my hand it's very sheer but you can build it up. So I think I'm gonna just do like a little bit. It's kind of nice doing it with this. I find a lot of the K-Beauty blushes work really well with a cushion. They just seem to, I think, go on better just whatever way the formulas are. I'm just gonna use this to kind of um, go over the edges of that. So yeah, we had a great time. And uh, my parents actually left uh, on the sixth day, I think they left. 
because they were meeting their friends in Sardinia. So they went to Sardinia. Um, but yeah, we just had such a nice time. I read a book, my first book that I've read in literally like years, like three, four years. We just sat like for like an hour every morning in the sun, having our breakfast, just drinking coffees, eating fresh pastries, going for walks, going on bike rides. It was just like so nice. So like just kind of the perfect holiday, especially for a, a for people with kids. It's just like really nice space, a nice area. It feels very safe. Um, is that okay? I think that's all right. Like I just want a little kind of a pinky lavendery flush on my cheeks. I don't know if I'm gonna bother with powder. I don't think I will. I think I'll just use setting spray. I don't think I'm gonna bother with powder. This is just the YSL makeup setting spray, hydrating. I might do, I might use that BBIA lip oil just so you can see what it looks like. First, I'm gonna put on this Roman Dewy Full Water Tint. These are gorgeous. They're so nice. I'm gonna just put that in the center of my lips just to give it a little bit of a gradient and some color because my lips are kind of, oh, not too bad at all. So I'm just gonna put that in the center. And this is like a glossy lip tint. So I'm gonna just let that kind of set. And in the meantime, I'm gonna put on the lip aligner. So this is kind of more of something to define your lips, but not necessarily with color. So I'm gonna put it on, I'm just gonna blend that a little bit with my finger. I'm gonna just put this on the edges. Sorry, that is the lip liner and the lip tint. I'm just gonna kind of let that set for a minute and then I'm gonna do the lip oil over. So this is the BBIA lip oil and I got the number three shade, which has little Mai on it because little Mai is my favorite. And this is it. It's kind of like a slight, I mean, there was very little difference. Two of them were kind of glittery and plumping. And then the other two, this is like a reddy pinky shade. And then there was like a berry and it's kind of like holographic, if you can see it. The packaging is so nice. These ones weren't plumping. I didn't want a plumping one because they're menthol and I just don't like that. Even though I probably would have picked the glitter one, but I just didn't want that. So I picked a clear kind of sheer red, but it's so cute. And I really like they have that. Oh, they have the plastic spatula like the... Romand glosses as well, which I love. So I'm gonna put this on over the liner. It also smells so good. It's like fruity, like candy. It's very nice. Very like glassy kind of a shine. So it's like it's called a lip oil but it's it is very glossy i love that it's so it's so glossy okay let's have a little final look at everything so yeah that was my holiday and it was so nice and just so special and like just so many memories it was so fun to spend that time with our family and you know that my sister was there that Maya had a cousin to play with and it was just like really 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 special and fun and such a such a nice thing to be able to do It'd be a really nice place to recommend to people who are looking for somewhere to bring their kids that's not like a resort or like an all-inclusive it's a little bit more I mean it's I suppose it's a little bit more rough and ready but it's still really nice you know even if it's the weather is bad or something there's still like lots of th oh, lots of things that you can do I just think if you're somebody who is looking for somewhere to go on holiday with your kids it can be hard to find somewhere unless you get recommended a place and i would really highly recommend this place so i'm gonna just take my hair down yeah and then the, the weekend after we got back we got back on a sunday and the fr that friday we went to a hotel 
in Wicklow for my father-in-law's, my, I guess, fiance's dad, my father-in-law. His, he has a big birthday coming up in November. So we went on a like family weekend away to Druid's Glen Hotel. We went to Greystones and ha had a dinner out and we like went to the driving range and like the weather wasn't great, but we just like had a really nice weekend together. And it's not something that we get to do all the time with Simon's family because his brother lives in London with his partner. So it's not something we always get to do, but it was just a really lovely weekend. Okay, so this is the makeup look. I'm not going to lie, at, at the start I was a bit like, this is not, this is not great. Like this is going to look terrible. But as is usually the case, it, it tends to work out in the end. And I actually like how those glitters are quite sheer. And they're, you know, you could layer them over like a darker base or like a liquid eyeshadow, which is what I did during the week. But they're really nice on their own as well. I probably went a little bit overboard with the liquid liner, but I mean, just filling in with a little gap there. I think this liner might be on its last leg. I like it though. It's It's quite a like... K-beauty inspired look with the gradient lips and the little like a geosal thing underneath but it's been a while since I filmed a video like this so it's nice to just be able to like chat about products and and like tell you what I think about them and show them in action and, I mean I have so many more like I have all of these blushes this is Fui this is too cool for school I have a brush from this blush from the same um I have one that is from uh Unleashia which is their Sichua, Sichua range. And this is like a really cool texture. It's called their Sichua Butter Waffle Dough Blusher. Why are all these blushers like dough? But like that's such a nice shade. Very impressed by BBIA, that brand so far. The mascara is like really good. Like if you want waterproof, that is a really nice waterproof mascara. The palette is kind of a little bit hit and miss, the eyeshadows. Some of them are very sheer and then some of them are a little bit more opaque. But I guess that probably works as well. Like, I think this is a much nicer look. Like, if it had been darker, it would have been a bit more of a look. Whereas this is a little bit more subtle for, like, a glitter. So I do like that about it. And the lip oil is gorgeous as well on the packaging. I really, so far, I'm impressed by that brand. This is such a nice formula and they have some really nice shades in that as well. If you are making an order on any of those sites like Yes Style or Salvana or there's um, Olive Young. I think it's Style Korean is the other brand, the other website. So if you are making an order on any of those websites and you wanted to try some of the makeup, I just wanted to kind of show you what I've been using, what I bought and what they can do. For my skincare today, I actually used these um, Heimish Hydrogel Eye Patch. Bulgarian rose water and this was actually free I got it as a free gift with um an order I placed on style Vanna. it has this little kind of section on the top with the little um spoolie and then those are the the eye patches I actually have reusable eye patches that I use with my eye cream so I don't usually use eye patches I just like to use the reusable ones but they're really nice and they, that was free and I think they're like 16 euro or something so it was nice to get that for free. It was like a free gift because of whatever like I spent on Style Vanna. And then I, I've been using this. This is the Haru Haru Wonder Black Bamboo Mist. And this is a really nice just after you cleanse to like use this before serum. And I've also been using the Beauty of Joseon Ginseng, Ginseng Essence Water. So that is really nice too. I've been kind of using this and then this and usually then just a moisturizer and SPF or sometimes if my skin is feeling a bit dry I'll use this this and then a serum and then a moisturizer but I don't, like I, I don't find that my skin needs it these give you so much hydration anyway I just think you get so much more for your money than you do when you buy brands here there is a video which I want to do which is to like rate and review all of the K Beauty lip products that I've bought yeah if there's anything that you want to request that you a video that you would like to see just let me know once again thanks for watching this is probably going to be like a super rambly video and I don't know if it's going to edit together very well but hopefully it will 
and um, I hope you liked the finished makeup look. I think it turned out better than I thought it was going to turn out so that was good. If you haven't already don't forget to subscribe and please like the video and leave a comment if you have the time and thank you very much for watching and I will see you next week with another video.